All right, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. It is currently a very rainy afternoon. Uh, it's morning actually, it's like 8.05. And earlier this week, Taylor was like, what do you wanna do this weekend? And then I had a little epiphany. I was like, wait, I know something cool we can do. She's like, what? I was like, no, I'm not gonna tell you. It's gonna be a surprise. So this whole week, I've been like, like teasing this thing we're gonna do today. She doesn't know what it is. It's stressing her out. But now I feel, now I worry that I've hyped it up too much that it's not as cool as like, it's not that cool, but it's like cool, but it's not like cool, but it's cool, but she doesn't know. And um, we, 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 we have to go and it starts at nine in the morning. Where do you think we're going? I have no freaking If you had to guess. I have three, I had three ideas. I thought one, you were gonna take me ice skating. Okay. Two, he's taking me to Apex Cheer Gym to go tumble around maybe. Uh-huh. Harry, you're taking me to Alpha Land and we're getting a really early morning workout in. Yeah, I think the uh we have to be there at 9 a.m. to throw you off. And see, now she's like posting on her story like Max take me a surprise. This it I feel like you're gonna be scared. I think like you're gonna be like disappointed with like No you know, I just Oh now I'm stressed out now I shouldn't have made it seem so stressed. cool. It's not that cool I just thought it'd be something I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like I don't like surprises. <laughs> taking me to a creepy motel? Max no, I'm not taking you to a creepy motel. Badminton? <laughs> <laughs> I took a badminton! No! We we are going to the Houston Badminton Center. <laughs> Woo! You said you said we talked about playing badminton together. I said pickleball! No, we said badminton. I didn't say badminton. Yeah, we did. No. We're gonna have a great time. I love you. On a scale of one to ten, how amazing is this? <laughs> ten. The fact you thought about former Miss Texas new boyfriend. What does he do on a Saturday for a surprise date? Takes her to badminton. Wow, headlines. I, I mean. love it. I love it. <laughs> Guys, you would not believe it, but the badminton center at eight forty-five in the morning is packed. It's popping. Like literally, look at this. No freeze. I mean, it's it's packed. And here's the weird thing: in like three three minutes or something, we have a court reserved. And then, the, the, but there's people playing on the court, and the guy's like, "Yeah, you just tell them to get off." I'm like, "That's really confrontational and awkward." Yeah. I want to be like, "Can can you do that?" On a scale of one to ten, ten being the best date you've ever been on in your entire life. A ten. Well, that was a ten. That was so fun. Did you? Was it lame? I, no, I want to be part of a league. <laughs> Put me in, coach. <laughs> it's badminton. The badminton's cool. I. <laughs> All right, so the champions are back home. We got a little, a little breakfast. Spicy chicken biscuit from Chick Fil A. Look how good this looks with some grape jelly. And I have to show, okay, this is gonna be gross. I need, okay, certain people need to skip past this part of the video. But as you know, I had an ingrown toenail problem and I got it fixed, but it's come back. And I'm just telling you, I think there's something like drastically wrong. I'm gonna show you my feet and I'm sorry and just skip forward if you don't wanna see this, but I know some of you feet people wanna see this, but my ingrown is ingrowing like you've never seen before. It's like, it's overgrowing. Look at this, ready? Look at this toe. Look at the right side right there. Do you see how it's like growing out over here? What is that? Oh my God. I'm in literal pain all the time if I don't wear shoes with a super wide toe cap. Like I need to get this fixed. It, my foot hurts. <laughs> oh, your foot hurts? Yeah, well now your back's gonna hurt because you just got landscaping duty. My fingers hurt. Oh, well. Oh. Now your back's gonna hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? All right, I want to show you something that Taylor got me for Christmas. Uh, back in my day, we used to have game consoles called a Sega Genesis. This is kind of like an emulator, so it's like a aftermarket Sega Genesis that has like a hundred of the original games. And this one that we're playing right here 
is called Altered Beasts, where you're this guy. And then once you kill a wolf, you get power-ups and you become a more jacked guy. You, you start being not natty. And then you turn into a wolf. And it sounds lame, but it's super cool. Let me show it to you. And then I gotta kill this wolf to get his powers. Ready? Ready? No. No oh, shit. Uh, power up. Oh, fuck. Ready? Now my shirt's gonna rip off. Powered up, dude. Now I gotta kill the wolf. I gotta kill the wolf. Here we go. I need that power up. Here we go. Wolfman. Now watch me. Nothing can stop me! Ah! Ah! No! You know, a lot of the times I think back to uh, that I was a gamer growing up and I played a lot of games, I think I was ass at them. Like, I think I wasn't good and I just played a lot of video games as a kid. This is like a realization. I've been... It, it, it's like Fortnite, man. I've been playing Fortnite for five years and I still get whooped. Emily Dickinson's phone was just missing. What? Just gone. Middle of the night, someone picked the lock. Oh no. Okay, I'm not sure if uh, many people will relate to this. I don't know how many of you wear button downs. Hopefully you do, and if you do, ever forward, obviously. But I wanna show you how to cuff properly, or at least how I like to cuff. So I feel like a lot of people just like roll their sleeves. They don't know, they're just like pulling it up. So it's super simple. Um, unbutton this first button. I like to personally leave the forearm button down to kind of keep it tight like a tiger. And it's so simple. You literally just take the cuff and you fold it exactly the length of the, 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 the cuff fabric, right? So you start it like this and you're gonna do that two more times, but you're gonna take your thumb and you gotta make sure you don't like have any of the fabric. So you're like tucking it under to make sure it doesn't like fold underneath. See how it's perfectly flat right there? And you're gonna do that one more time. It's good. And you kinda can pull the shirt down a little bit because you're gonna adjust it for the final one. Again, you're using your thumb and you're making sure that it's super straight. And then boom, it's gonna fall right below your elbow which is where you ideally want it. If you're doing like manual labor, maybe put it up here. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you properly max tuning roll your button down. <sighs> Why did I do that? All right, mom and dad are stepping out for a nice little steak dinner, a little date night. Woo! What are the outfit details? Zara. Wow. Pants, Zara. Wow. Belt, revolve, shoes. I don't know. Earrings, Zara, and genetics, Janice Kessler. Okay, my outfit, Ever Forward, How to Beast Edge, clothing, Thursday boots, movement bracelet. See you tomorrow night. Tomorrow, see, you, see you in the morning. Don't wait up for us, kids. Ew, I just like, stabbed you in my hand. <laughs> Alright, so before we go to the next day, I have an exciting announcement. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Movement. I've been working with them for so, so long, and today is a great day if you want to snag yourself something for Valentine's Day or your loved one. Normally my discount code, 15%, already pretty crazy. Now until February 13th, they're having a special sale. My code is 20%. You need an accessory for a guy, for a girl, you need a fancy watch, you need a bracelet, you need some blue light blocking glasses, you need some sunglasses. 20% off, free shipping, code max until February 13th. Go check them out. Very nice stuff. You're gonna look great and you're not gonna break the bank. Thanks to them for sponsoring the video. First link in the description. Okie dokie, back to the vlog. <laughs> question what's the weirdest thing that's all right so it is crappy weather today and it's supposed to pour down rain for the next like five days so that sucks my house is definitely going to continue to leak no i have not figured out where the leak is but i'm sure the rain ha, will just tell me with without me having to do any work so thanks uh nature but we we have to do some work today it's sunday which i usually am a, a sloth and do nothing but there is a special guest in town that I ran into at the gym and I'm gonna do a podcast with her. Her name is Lean Beef Patty. I don't know much about her, 
I just know that she's very, very popular, friends with Jesse James West. I recognized her when I was working out the other day, and I was like, hey, you want to go and come on the podcast? So I need to make notes, but I don't, I don't know anything about, I don't, I'm going to have to, this is going to be, this is going to be a podcast where I'm learning things because I know zero. Let me give you guys a little behind the scenes on how we do this podcast. So all I have to do is turn on these lights, flick the switches on the walls, which make these overhead lights come on and the sign, and then everything is pretty much turnkey. You know Oz, my videographer, he produces the podcast, but he does not physically need to be here for me to film an episode because the studio is just turnkey. We have dedicated cameras for each guest right there. It's the same camera that I use here, which is an A7S III. We have a 24 to 70 lens on here, set at about 50 millimeters, and then we have a 24 105 on that camera set at 50 millimeters. I just happen to have those lenses. That's why I didn't just buy a 50 mil lens. And then the camera that goes in the middle here is this vlog camera. So I take this off, I put it right here, and then I just like hit go. The mics are already plugged in. Even if I had more guests, everything is set up to have four people. You would just put another mic, you'd plug it in, set it right here, pull a chair up, and boom. You hit record, you have a good time. Don't be sour, baby. Step on me, mommy. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, I always thought that was just kind of like a silly little joke. Um, Turns out it's not. Well, for the most part, I think it is. Okay. I think some Alrighty, people- Alrighty, solid pod. What'd you think? Uh, it was really great. I started getting nervous, especially once I finished all of that uh, energy drink. So I was like, oh wow, caffeine. But it was good. I really liked the podcast. And she, she never, like, you never go on very many episodes mm -hmm. of, I couldn't find any interviews Apparently that you've done. Apparently the one other one I've been on has been deleted, so. Well, now you're getting an exclusive, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the first Lean Beef Patty official sit-down podcast Thank comes you. out in a couple weeks. All right, finally getting to eat a little bit of food. For lunch, I didn't get to show you, but we went to this crawfish place with Joe and Becca and Taylor, and they were just like, <laughs> sucking down those crawfish heads, which is the most disgusting thing ever. And I wasn't able to get any food because it was a mess up. So first meal of the day is this. This is, so we went to Mastro's last night, steak place, and this is a Wagyu beef hamburger helper. It's, it's basically hamburger helper for adults, even though I still eat the hamburger helper for children. But it's really, really good. You know, something I want to briefly say in that podcast, we're kind of talking about how Patty, lean beef, whatever you want to call her alias, um, was saying how she like, creates content and like certain like pictures like do better than others, but she's like, it doesn't provide any value to anyone or she doesn't think it does. And it made me really like think of like, that's the same way I think about a lot of my YouTube content that if my videos don't have some sort of like business message or um, inspirational thing or relatability, then I feel like it's just like content that is making people dumber and pointless, even though I'm like, maybe it's funny. Like last week when I didn't upload a second video and I could have, like, I didn't upload a video on Wednesday, I, I, I filmed half of a video and I just canned everything because I was like, nothing is happening. Like I can put content out, but I feel like there always has to be this depth to it. You have to think that, I like to think your posts are an escape from the world. It always brings me a form of joy and happiness. And you're really funny, and you're that for other people. Tell me some more cool things about me. You're really handsome. Yeah? You can you can bench 350 pounds for reps of like two. Yeah? I know you can bench me for like 30, which is really cool. And I think you're the funniest person I know, and you have a really cute golden doodle, and you're the best boyfriend in the world! <laughs> you're too good to me. <laughs> I love you. You hear that, guys? Come on, say some nice stuff about me. Say some nice stuff about me. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up this day and this video with a delicious pizza. Domino's, can we just all agree? I was once a Papa John's believer, but even further, believe me, I was a Pizza Hut, which is now terrible. Domino's is the best pizza on this planet. The best pizza at Domino's is number one, but Taylor and I are gonna finish season two of The Boys, and then everyone kept saying that you have to watch the intro to season three. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe we'll see what the hype is about. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, smash thumbs up button. Can't wait to hang out with you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips. And never forward. <gasps> well, and never forward. It's the pussy. Oh no. He's gonna sneak. <gasps> Ha, ha, ha.